B for B TV. Real people, real stories, real Bradford. A very warm welcome to all our listeners around the world. It's a very another historic day here in the UK city of culture, Bradford. So many amazing initiatives taking place uh, here in the city. And as all our listeners know, just a few weeks ago, we had the official launch of B4B online TV right here in the city of Bradford with some amazing presenters. Atif Hussein, Shadid Islam, and also the chair of the organization, Dr. Sohal Ahmed. Another historic day today, as we have two amazing presenters who are going to be providing informative content here in the city of Bradford on behalf of B4B TV. So it's a pleasure to have here today. Mr. Jerry Crawford, looking very relaxed. How are you feeling today? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just big up my amazing. chest. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. And we also have um, Esther Osakwe also, who's going to be providing some informative content here on B4B Online TV. Esther, how are you feeling today? I feel just fine. Thank you so much. How are you, Tony? I'm feeling very relaxed as ever. <laughs> and uh, it will please all our listeners to know that um, just a few days ago, Monday, the 27th of June, Bradford for Better organization was short shortlisted and made it to the finals of the National Diversity Awards in Liverpool. So as you can see, we're not just a city of culture here in Bradford, uh, great marks, great his historic marks are happening here every day. And uh, moving on to you, Dr. Sahel Ahmed, um, Bradford for Better are now in the finals of the National Diversity Awards, which will be taking place in Liverpool this September. What's the feeling and the mood right now at Bradford for Better camp? Thank you very much, Tony, for today. And it's great to have you again, and thank you for hosting us again today. Well, there's a great sense of pride, as you can imagine. And we wouldn't have got this without your efforts, Tony and Esther, Jerry. I mean, some of the big events that we've done, the uh, Afro-Caribbean Awards that you organized, and I think Jerry and uh, Queen Esther here were both recipients um, of awards and the Black History Celebrations uh, last year in October. These, these were crucial, sort of significant events that we supported and we learned so much from you as the organizer of these events and we collaborated with you. And on the back of that, this, this is a recognition that we've got. So we are very thankful to you and everybody else involved. So yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Ahmed. And also to remind all our listeners around the world, that we'll be back organizing the Black History Month celebrations at the UK House of Parliament on the 28th of October this year, all the way in London. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, that because it's been two years um, after COVID. Uh, but Dr. Ahmed, very briefly now, before we go to our amazing presenters, only a few weeks ago, we had the launch of B4B Online TV with some amazing presenters. And for the benefit of all our listeners today, ever since then, we've been seeing some very, very informative interviews out there. What's the story been so far? And what kind of interviews have you been having within the last few weeks? Yeah, the, the response has been absolutely amazing. I mean, people are asking about it, talking about it all across the city. And uh, there's a huge sense of anticipation to see where this is going to go. We've had a very diverse um, sort of audience and also the guests and topics we've covered. We've covered the Refugee Week last week. Uh, we've got plans to cover some literature festival guests. We've had um, the Carnival of Culture covered. 
by Jerry, organized by Jerry and the Windrush, Windrush Generation team and Esther um, did a promo for that with yourselves, uh, Tony. And um, we've had some Born in Bradford researchers come on the show as well. So it's been a mixed bag. We've really had a mixed bag so far, focusing mostly on the City of Culture guests uh, so far. But uh, now, thanks to these uh, brilliant people, Esther and Jerry, we are now moving on to the next stage. And I'm sure and I'm so excited to see where this is going to go with, with our new hosts and presenters. And I'm, I'm excited. I don't know where it's going to go. So I'm looking, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to myself. So I'm, I'm going to leave it to to these, these guys here to see where they're going to take it. And like I said, at the first episode that you hosted, that we don't know where it's going to go. We don't have a, um, a kind of a, a roadmap. We just know that we want to shine the spotlight on the amazing stuff happening in Bradford. And there is no That's limit to it. The sky is the limit. So it, it's, it's uh, all exciting. And I suppose that's the very, very profound thing about life is that sometimes that spontaneous journey can mm. lead to greater meanings and greater paths mm. and greater route. Uh, this today is a very historic day because both Jerry and Esther are, are here to um, provide content for B4B mm. TV representing black communities here within mm. Bradford. Uh, I'm going to move now to you, Jerry Crawford. Uh, You've been in Bradford quite quite a long time now. Uh, you've played a part in so many things, so many initiatives. You've also been a voice for the people. You've been behind Black Lives Matter in Bradford and also the Windrush movement. For the benefit of all our listeners around the world, can you tell us just a bit about yourself, your background, and the things you're most passionate about in life? Okay, my name's Jerry Crawford. I uh came to this country in the early 60s with my mother to meet my father. We came to Bradford. We spent a few months here and then we went to Manchester. I believe I stayed there until I was about six. Came back to Bradford and then from there, we've just, uh, I've just continued doing what I've been doing. So, I mean, right now I'm uh, involved with two organisations. One is Collective Impact and the other is All Nations UK. Collective Impact is a community organisation where we go out there, we, you know, we look up for local issues. We want to make awareness of the bad things that are happening. You know, we don't want no injustice. We want equality. So all those things we're fighting for. And again, you know, people like yourself, Dr. Sohail and the Queen as well, you know, your people what inspire me. So when I see you guys and I speak to you guys, I want to go and do some more stuff, you know what I mean? So that's the things I'm doing. As in Bradford now, you know, I've been here a long time. I've been involved uh, in many, many projects. Uh, I'm trying to think when it first started. I can't even think when it first started. It probably started when I used to go to shop for some of the neighbours. I think it started like that, you know, going to shop for neighbours and buying stuff. But anyway, yeah, uh, going back to uh, Bradford now, a good few years ago now, we... Uh, as black people and people who were kind of socially disadvantaged, we didn't have anywhere to, uh, as musicians, to uh, let our creative juices flow. So at the time, there was all these big studios, corporate studios and things, but we couldn't afford. So anyway, I got an opportunity and uh, I got a chance to set up a, a community recording studio. And that was the very first recording studio in Bradford, which was called Ruben Sounds. And that, from there, things kind of elevated. Because, as you know, people now had somewhere where they could go down and put their music down and things like that, you know, go and meet other creative people and get ideas from there. So from there, it kind of just kind of elevated onto other stuff where I started to uh, put on many community events. And then from there, like you said, I got involved with the uh, Black Lives Matter. But I've always been a activist you know from uh, from birth like i said from before injustice we don't want that kind of stuff so that's what i'm fighting for and because b4b sorry b4b tv is here now i'm grateful to have that platform where now we can go out there and tell stories which are you know true because i'm a person you know i'm in the community i live with these people i am one of those people so 
my plan is to go out there and get and put down what they're saying. Now, you speak about community activism and you've been very involved in community activism in the evolution of being black in Bradford. What does it mean to be black in Bradford? And how important is it for black people in Bradford to stand up and be the change they want to see in society? Right. From my point of view and the few people who I got in my close circle, uh, to be black in Bradford, it's, you know, seriously, it's, it's, it's hard. It's really, really hard. You know, we, we go through life as, as normal, carrying on as if, you know, notes really happen. But <laughs> when we take a step back and really think of what's really happening, it, it's not good. So, you know, as a black person in Bradford, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful and I'm wanting things to go forward, but it's a hard one. It's a hard one, but I believe, you know, people like ourselves, we just continue what we're doing. I don't believe that will solve any, all the problems, but we can lighten it, you know, we can reduce stuff. And this is what I'm hoping what can happen. Okay, Jerry, we're going to come back to you a bit shortly to talk more about the kind of content you're going to be providing for B4B online TV. But moving on to you, Esther Osakwe, looking very relaxed. Uh, I'm sure our listeners around the world today want to know a bit more about yourself, your background, the things you're most passionate about in life, and what does it mean to be Black in Bradford? Well, thank you so much, Tony. Just hearing you, Jerry, speak there, is, is, well, I'm feeling all sorts of emotional um, because the struggle is real. Um, I'm this girl who's come from Nigeria and made her home in Bradford. I mean, in the UK, I've been here around maybe 12 years in total, but in um, Bradford, about seven years this August. Um, what am I passionate about? I'm passionate about people. Like, I really sincerely get my fuel. I get juiced by just being around people, figuring out what makes them tick. But the thing that really triggers me the most, the thing that um, my whole life is dedicated to, and this is my legacy as well, is improving people's quality of life, especially when it comes to their mental health and that space. Understanding that it's okay to be yourself, it's okay to be you. You're accepted as imperfect and flawed as you are. That's just perfect. Um, that's, that's my song, my life song as well. And so I'm heavily involved in the creative arts. I sing, I dance, I act. I am a beauty queen. I won a pageant last year, Miss Commonwealth for Africa. Yes. And I really hope to use all these things that come naturally to me, being a people person, uh, someone who loves to bring out the best in people. I really hope to use that wherever I, I am and leave that place better than I met it, you know, leave everyone better than I met them. And being... Um, an African or a person of color, brown skin girl. I think it's a unique power, position of power, if I may say it that way, because I get to educate consciously or unconsciously everybody that I meet and they get to have a different taste of what Africa is like, you know, beyond the stereotype they've seen on television. You know, I get to be that light. I get to shine my shine and just kind of show that Underneath all this, um, under, underneath the melanin, we are real people after all. So, yeah, thank you, Tony. Beautiful. Uh, talking about your personal development, mental well being, and all things which are positive in bringing out the best in people. How do you hope to use the B4B platform to inspire communities here in Bradford? And also just give us a bit of a flavor of what to expect on your show. Hmm. You've, had, you've asked a very, very powerful question there because television in any, on any level, whether it's on social media, whether it's in front of us, we have this people generally, I find, we have this ability to want to um, take our cues from each other 
you know, like for self-regulation, for co-regulation, for even for our emotional well-being. We're just wired to connect. And there's nothing that does it better than being able to see that vision. That's a television, you know, to envisage what it is like to, um, to be another person, more or less. So I don't know if what I've said makes sense, but don't worry. When you start watching, watching my show, I hope it will make more sense. I hope to put what is good about Bradford on television, especially to do with our habits. Those things that we don't think about, those things that are unconscious and really get to understand more about our behavior. Why do I do the things that I do? For example, we have a campaign, it's called Don't Mess With Bradford. I'm gonna be, that's what my show is gonna really focus on. And when I say those words, I wonder for my listeners here today, what comes up for you? Do you think it's about cleanliness, litter picking, or do you think it's about pride, having a sense of ownership that this is my city, I'm a representative of Bradford, and how do I, how I carry myself, even right down to my habits and the way that I, I behave, you know, really exploring that and showing people that you're better than this in terms of cleanliness and the habits that we all have unconsciously or consciously and showing them a better part of themselves. I hope that's what my show is going to highlight. Thank you so much for the question, Tony. You're very welcome. And also how important media is a very, very powerful tool. Sometimes we're able to maximize it and make the most of it to make the world a better place. How important do you feel media is in changing people's lives? Media is 100% uh, a relevant, essential, vital, profound tool because um, this you can interact with people. Maybe you just see them once and that's it. You don't see them again. It doesn't stick. But when you have media, whether it's social media, whether it's newspaper media, whether it's television, it's media or radio, just that constant repetition, you know, that's what creates lasting impression. So I think that media in itself is a very powerful tool. And that's why it's important that those who are put in front of the screen or put in front of the camera and on the screen are aware of the power, the influence, the potential to change lives, to to change, to form mindsets, to rewrite history, to create narratives, to transform lives and affect even generations. It's so important that they are aware of this, of this, of this responsibility. Yeah, it's very powerful. Thank you. And I'm very sure people will be expecting more from your show mm -hmm. and the narrative that will bridge harmony in many people's lives. Yeah. Uh, now, moving back to you, Jerry, I'm sure our listeners around the world are dying to know what to expect on your show on B4B TV. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping my show now is going to uh, reflect and show how the people in Bradford feel in different ways on different topics. So I'm hoping some's going to be fun, some's going to be serious, but end of the day, I want it to be, I want it to be the truth. And at the same time, I'm hoping that other people will be watching, will get some understanding of how people are, get the education from that as well. So that's my plan as well. So I'm hoping it's going to cover many stuff. I'm hoping maybe even cooking, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, when I get going, I mean, when the doctor's there, I, I hope he's going to be ready when I call him. You know, I might call him at 12 o'clock at night and say, listen, I've got a guy down at the uh, gym. You're going to have to come down here. So, you know, it's, it, it's going to be something like that. No, you won't be coming at 12. It's all right, I'm joking. <laughs> but, but yeah, that kind of stuff, you know, just to show who we are in Bradford, you know, what we are, what we want to be, what we want to achieve. And at the moment, it's happening, but not everybody's hearing. So I believe now B4B will do that. So I'm looking forward to this. You know, I'm looking forward to working with my co-host there. Hope I can get some tips. I'm definitely going to get some tips of a Tony. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's going to be very, very exciting at times here at B4B Online Television. Uh, on a very nice, very final note from Jerry and Esther. Uh, Jerry, what message do you have for all Bradfordians around the world today listening? 
Well, I would say right now, at this moment in time, I would say Bradford people, we have to big our chest up now. We are the city of culture. We've got to tell people that. We've got to be proud of that. You know, where anywhere I go now, I'm telling people, you know, we are the city of culture. I'm bossing. So I'm, I hope my boss is not going to be in vain. So that's the message I want to get across. Make people feel confident. You know, they've got something, something to fight for. And positivity at the end of the day. And Esther Osakwe, what message do you have for all Bradfordians listening mm. in today? Mm. I want to say to my people, yes, you are my people and I am your person. A city is made up of people. You are very vital. Without you, there would be no city. So look after yourself. Treasure yourself. Pamper yourself. Nurture yourself. Without people, there is no city. There is no me. There is no you. There is no Bradford. And we are one. So when you see your neighbors struggling or if you need a hand, just reach out. You're so, so, so supported. There's so much support. There's so much love in the city. Honestly, I can testify, you know. So I just want you to remind, remember that. I want to remind you of that. You're not alone. And um, look after yourself. Thank you. You've heard it from Jerry. You've heard it from Esther. Log on to www.bradfordforbetter.com. On a very final note, back to Dr. Sahel Ahmed. Why is it important right now for people to watch this space with regards to B4B online TV? Thank you, Tony. And thank you very much for such wonderful words, uh, Esther and Jerry. I'm very inspired and grateful for your support and, and joining this um, ambitious program. The idea behind B4B TV is to inform, to empower and inspire. And as the City of Culture tagline says, this is our time, this is our place. And I think that sums it all up. This is our medium, our platform to connect all the dots of all the amazing stuff happening in Bradford, and each one of us here is a catalyst in our own right and the work that we're doing. And when we come together, there's going to be explosion, explosions, you know, it's going to be amazing. You know, so I can't wait. You know, I'm looking forward to it. And Jerry, 12 o'clock, a.m., p.m., it doesn't matter. The team will be there. You know, okay. We'll be there live on the spot, you know, correspondence, always there. So if you feel like cooking something in the middle of the night and showing people a live feed, we'll be there recording. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So you've all heard it from the B4B team here in Bradford. Take a few seconds right now to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also visit www.bradfordforbetter.com and continue to be that change you want to see in society. Take care and God bless. You've been watching B4B TV. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And join us next time for another episode.